Cheers, I'm Dan from Coreless and today is Tip Tuesday. One of the tips that I came up with for today that I thought was most important for the beginning from entry level hobbies all the way to expert level and that is inspecting your corals before you put them in your tank, dipping them possibly. If you do not have a quarantine system, which most of us don't because as soon as we get a quarantine system we start putting frags in there and it becomes a frag tank. I'm sure that's happened to a few of you, but um, inspecting your corals, number one, right away. Depending on the type of coral, if it's an acro, zoanthid, um, different corals have different types of parasites, and those of you who are SPS lovers know what you can get out there. The acro-eating flatworms are a pain in the ass, and you want to eradicate them before you ever put something in your tank, because they can hide and, and become pretty invasive and destroy your colonies. So. As a beginner, you don't know where you're getting your corals from, you're shopping all over, you just see a pretty coral, you don't really know how to inspect that coral. It takes time, um, understanding what you're looking for is one of the best things because otherwise you're just staring at a coral and you don't know if it's a good copepod versus a pest, something that's going to infect your coral. So <clears throat> I do recommend dipping and everyone's going to say, well what kind of dip should I get? Well like I said, depending on what you're trying to get, the different dips matter. Uh, one of the easiest dips to get your hands on, a uh, local hardware store, anywhere that sells pesticides, they'll have bear. And you can see on here all the different little things that it kills. Um, and this is great for, like I said, zoanthids, pallies, uh, soft corals, anything that could be hiding under, around those things in between the polyps. So that's a very strong dip. It's a real milky white, so when you put it in there, you just kind of want to blow it around. And I'll do another video on actually how to dip and inspect your corals, but this is just a concept I wanted to get out to you guys. It's something you can educate yourselves on and be a little more careful about from now on because if you've ever experienced a problem where you have a pest, it, I mean, it can just stress you out to no end. So inspect your corals and dip them from day one. Uh, let me show you guys a few dips that we have. Anyone who's a Two Little Fishies fan, like I am, has used Revive. Revive's a good coral dip because not only does it dip the corals but it rinses them and gives them like a cleaning so if you frag you can use this as a fragging dip as well um, so it does have some other things in there and anyone who smelled this stuff realizes <laughs> it smells like uh, pine salt but, but anyway so that's a good dip and then the next one up is coral rx now we try to give a little pamphlet some information on this with each of our orders and we give you a little one shot um, as of right now, we're trying to do that with every order. It's something that we're going to have to supply more frequently and just so we can make that uh, an everyday thing. But we want to take care of you guys. We inspect the corals before we pack them. So we try to do that for you, but like I said, things happen. Sometimes things get biased, so you always want to inspect something. I don't like importing certain types of corals because of history we've had with them and with pests. So what we like to do is get homegrown corals, corals that are aquacultured, corals that we know come from a clean lineage and they're not out in the middle of the ocean. But anyway, that's another day. So another dip that we got at Reef of Palooza in New York, they hand it out in the bags, is this dip. It's a German company it looks like and I haven't used it yet but it's another brand that's available out there, the dip. So as science progresses and technology advances in the aquarium industry, people are starting to realize different things and you can just see it right now with the coral foods, I mean colors are exploding across the board. Corals that I never saw pop in between the LEDs in the zoanthilla and the healthy corals, it, it's off the charge. So I won't go too long because it's so easy to do with all this information, but the tip is inspect your corals and dip if necessary and dip regularly, I mean on all your new corals. But some of you go to your local fish stores do not have dip and you don't even think about it. So this is something, inspect it, get a magnifying glass, a turkey baster, put it in a little bowl. Um, like I said, I will do a video and as soon as I finish it at the dipping process, I will link it below under this video. So as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Please leave your questions or comments below. Until next time.